Good afternoon, cousins. Owen the Canadian Redneck here for Q&A Part 6. Uh, one little bonus, though. Uh, ding dong, Amazon. I ordered some stuff on Amazon, and so it's now time to slice and dice. So it's a pretty big box because uh, I ordered some stuff to go camping that I hope would save me from having any kind of unrefrigerated food on the trip. Gosh, this tape is easy to open. I like that about Amazon. Uh, oh, hello. Hey, they put the books and the food. They combined in my package. I've got everything. This is cool. All right. I have a kilo. Yes, I, I have a kilo in the, pa in the mail. I got a kilo of raw shelled sunflower seeds. Which is cool. I think I paid like six bucks or something like that. And I got, oh wow, $12 for a kilo of chia seeds, which basically these are going to be breakfast with some coconut milk. I just put it in the night before, a quarter cup of this, a cup of coconut milk, and they will expand and I will have porridge for breakfast in the morning. I have uh, not exactly a kilo, but I mean I have a, a, a fair amount of pumpkin seeds, which is going to be tasty. Wow. And this cost, this was the expensive one, this cost me $22, and I think there's a, there's a hole in the bag. And that cost me $22 uh, for a kilo of uh, raw cashew. How come there's, oh, yep, there's a hole in the bag. Uh, but I think it's because of the next items that are in here. I think it perforated, if you will. My, it's, pardon my not redneck language. It perforated the bag in the corner on the new um, dummy books that I ordered. I, idiot, idiot books. Uh, I got uh, dehydrating food, which is going to be great for, like I said, the camping trip. And then I got something for the books that I'm writing, Communicating with Spirits. We should all be, you know, interesting and fun. All of this, one box, way to go, Amazon. Kind of wish there had been some kind of, like, uh, well, okay, there, there was some, some stuff here, but they probably should have wrapped the books in it so it didn't puncture a, a lung on my, on my cashews here. But that is really cool. I have everything I wanted and in plenty of time to have it ready for my camping trip. Okay. That done, uh, we will now move on to the Q&A, which is uh, from Allie the Bruce. All the information for the, uh, I believe it's 800 random questions will be in the doohickey below. And this is questions 90 to 99. Almost at 100. Yay. Um, would you like to be a big celebrity? Not a big one. I mean, known would be good. I mean, my stepfather was the biggest celebrity in the province of Quebec journalistically for most of, well, most of my life. And people would come up while we were eating dinner and they would say, oh, excuse me, can I have your, and like the guy is eating dinner. You know, if he's like finished or before, you know, like not while he's ordering, but I mean, Kind of look at the situation and go, is this a good time to interrupt someone? Because that's what you did. You know, you interrupt, you know, family time, which, you know. But, I mean, you know, you're, you're a celebrity. You made the decision to, hopefully you made the decision to become famous. And, you know, you deal with the consequences. You either don't go out or you take what happens. Although, you got to say the paparazzi. People, come on, humans put their pants on one leg at a time. They might have more expensive pants than we do, but, you know, there's a few times that, you know, you, you know, you, what are you, a shark? You know, just let them have some privacy. Let them have some normal lives. You know, if they want to talk to you, that's great. You know, uh, you know promote themselves, you know, whatever they're doing. Let you know it's, if they don't want to talk about it, unless they did something naughty, I mean, you know, Get off the soapbox, Owen. Um, would you ever go on Big Brother? They wouldn't have me on Big Brother. Wait a minute. Let's see. Left-handed, mismatched, I dyslexic, trans male, security guard. Oh, yeah, okay, I would. 
they would put me on Big Brother. Uh, I'd probably be one of the first people voted out of the house, off the island, and out of the state, but uh, sure, why not? I mean, you know, YOLO. <laughs> uh, 92, how big is your TV? Uh, I have, after waiting over four years, uh, managed to purchase uh, an on-sale demo floor model of a discontinued brand that's uh, a 40-inch screen. And uh, I, I am, I'm thrilled. I mean, Skylanders are huge. Uh, and it's more than enough. I know they have bigger and better or whatever. But I, from the very beginning, looked at my house and the size of my house and said, 40 is completely ample for my needs. Because my living room is basically only nine feet across. Uh, 93. What is your most essential appliance? I'm using it right now. It would be my computer or, or my iPad. Well, it would be the computer because the iPad is basically a remote control for my computer. 94, what type of music do you like? Well, like I said, my stepfather was a radio announcer, very, you know, in the, you know, the, the media and all this. Brought rock and roll to uh, Montreal. Uh, back in the uh, you know the 50s and 60s and stuff like that, when he was in the radio, uh, so I grew up with 50s rock and roll uh, and opera because he wanted to be an opera singer. So we had a lot of that. We used to go to operas and and all kinds of cultures. Lots of show tunes, lots of musicals, all kinds of stuff. Grew up with a diverse um, yet archaic uh, access to music. Uh, not so much anything of the modern stuff, and so 50s music is my fallback, but when I was with my biological father, it was everything from Alabama, Kenny Rogers, John Denver, and Roy Orbison. And we got somehow mixed in some Harry Belafonte and uh, turned me into an all-out geek that really nobody can talk to me about music with because I did not have the same music range as everybody like my generation or anywhere younger. Uh, uh, although on the plus side, my parents have never yelled at me to turn my music down because it was their music and they would usually tell me to turn it up. So that was a nice side effect. Let's see, have you ever been skinny dipping? I grew up summers in the Adirondacks. There may have been a couple occasions of skinny dipping in the uh, the past. Nothing recently. Nothing since I was. Uh, let's see, back in the oh, oh, lived alone on a lake. I was probably fourteen or fifteen in the last instances were, and then I became body conscious because of society, and. That whole, you know, going for a dip after dark just kind of stopped. And of course, so there was a lot of scary movies, you know, like Freddy and the, the, all the water, like, you know. I, I grew up in Lake Placid. <laughs> Enough said, you know, it's like, oh, I like a movie about an alligator in Lake Placid. It's like, okay, there goes the swimming altogether, let alone skinny dipping, because I am not going to have any like, dangly bits out there for like an alligator to go, I want that one, and I'm going to have this one for dessert. Six, uh, 96, there's the dyslexia people, it is real. Um, 96, how many pillows do you sleep with? Let's see, there's one for the cats, one for my head to pee on, one that I wrap myself around like I'm, I'm trying to hold on to something for dear life. Uh, yeah, well, there's three. Sometimes there could be four, uh, but most of the time there's three. Unlike Sevidus, I do not need uh, two extra pillows. Saying. Uh, oh, and if you do know what Sevidus is, that's on Twitch TV. Sevidus, uh, one of the founders of Nerd Fusion. Fun guys. Uh, really enjoying those. Yes, shamelessly promoting them because they entertain me greatly. Uh, 97. What position do you often sleep in? Well, when I am not in the midst of defending the planet in my sleep and kicking anything that comes close to me, uh, I am what I guess they call a tango position. I sleep on my side, and I have one leg hiked up and one leg down, and then, you know, 
like I said, I will defend the planet and God help anybody who unfortunately gets stuck sleeping, you know, in the bed with me instead of on the military cot in the living room. 98, what do you wear to bed? Pajama pants. And in the winter, because this is Canada, I wear uh, t-shirts and or, oh, not and or, t-shirts uh, in the fall and spring and thermals. Lots of, you know, like thermal underwear, stuff like that, and I bring extra sleeping bags, and I, I, I love lots and lots of blankets. That That is pillows. As long as I have one to put my head on, pretty much good. Give me blankets. I like the weight of just like being cocooned like a taco. Um, how big is your house? Well, uh, the condo is 655 feet. Uh, the person, uh, the agent that I bought it from, uh, who was doing the real estate, uh, wrote down on the paper that it was 800 square feet. And the bank, uh, after I bought it, looked at uh, the declaration and went, hooey. So I, I love the place. I don't like the fact that real estate agents lie. Uh, look, I'm buying the place. I fell in love with it. The fact that it's like, you know, 150 square feet less than you swore up and down and signed on a paper, uh, it's just kind of sad. So, that's it for this video, cousins. Until next time, stay alive and don't get haunted.